incoming transmission. Good morning, cadets, and welcome back to our Expeditions to Rome playthrough. In our previous episodes, which was a long one, and I had to split it into two videos, so it's not going to be that long in one video on YouTube. We, or I think we kind of finished with Azeminor by the looks of it, and not sure if it's uh, also or Act 1, because if I remember correctly, Act 1 was as a minor, and I haven't seen any prompts to say that we already passed in Act 2, doing as a minor and all that. So, right now, apparently we are back in Rome, and we still haven't started chatting with our companions, which we shall do now, and see if they have anything to say, and then talk with Vitus. First one, let's... Yeah, let's talk in order how they're positioned. I was thinking like maybe talk Kaiso first, Cineros, Bestia, then Kalida and all that, but then we're just moving too much around. Oh, and I see some of this fishing down there. Hopefully he is lucky and catches some. I for one don't like fishing, a bit too boring to me. Anyway, Denira. I have wanted to come to Rome for so long. I am almost nervous now. I mean, it's a splendid sight. I'm sure you'll love it. There's no place like Rome in the whole world. That is what everyone says. Now I get to see it for myself. I'll let you know if I agree. You are happy to be home? I mean, I'm happy I'll get to see my family again. They are what makes this city my home. They will be quite happy to see you again, I bet. I have no place to stay, of course. I can stay in your home, maybe. Just for now. Oh, you know what? I'll be happy to let you stay at my villa for as long as you wish. That is generous. Thank you. I will try to find a place for myself, but it is good to know there is no rush. Are you planning to stay in Rome in the long term? We will see. Maybe I will hate it. Then I will have to go and find some place else to be. But I think I will want to stay. If I can find place to live. You might know that you might draw a lot of attention in Rome, right? You think it will be bad? Maybe you can help me buy a nice Roman stola. Then I will fit in. Right? Mm, how to answer this? I mean, I think you maybe take a little more than that. Not many Roman wo Roman women look like they could wrestle a ball into submission. At least I will not receive unwanted advances, I guess. True. So I guess you're good on that front. But Rome loves gladiators. You could make a good living in the arena, if you wish. Why would I want to keep fighting when I don't have to? Fighting is a necessity of life. It is not sport. I did not come to Rome to keep fighting. Understandable. We can talk later. Wait, Kalida? Hey. You look a bit weird. Oh, thanks. Just what every girl hopes to hear. <sighs> I don't want to return. I don't even know where to go. This is the first time I'm back home. I mean, you're always welcome to stay with me in our villa if you need a place. I appreciate that, but I'd better not. I don't want to depend on someone else. I've seen how badly that can turn out. But I appreciate the offer, really. So, will you have to pretend to be a man again while you're in Rome? Worse. I'm going to pretend to be a prim and proper noblewoman. So, I guess you're not glad you were back. Not really. I like it better out there. I mean, the sweaty tents you share with seven others, the makeshift bathing facilities, having to do your deeds in a hole in the dirt. What's not to love, right? <laughs> all right, all right. It's just, in there, I have to be someone else. Out here, I'm just Julius Calidus. 
I like being Julius Calidus. Never mind. So how did you like Asia? We didn't get our guy, but we won the war. I'd celebrate that. <sighs> well, I do wish we had more against the Vitalius brothers. It'll work out. Your case is strong enough. Vale. Veil. Okay. Uh, what is it, Legate? You seem discontent. It is an action that bothers me. Idleness corrodes the warrior's mind. You used to be a gladiator, right? Well, perhaps you can visit the arena and find someone to fight. That is an excellent idea. No wonder you are the Legatus. So, what exactly will you do now? Is there someone waiting for you? There was, but not in Rome. I had a sister once. Although sometimes I question my own sanity. Did she truly exist? Or did I merely dream of her? Aristocles teaches us that one may never truly know. <laughs> we live chained inside a cave, staring at the shadows on a wall. None can chain Bestia Tabat anymore. I will find out where my sister is. How did you come to be separated? We were both sold as children. She fetched a higher price than I, for she was better in every way than I was. I do not know what became of her. Hmm. If she was sent here to Rome to fight in uh, the Colosseum, then yeah. I guess we can find her together after my work at the Senate is done. I shall consider your offer. We shall help you find your sister, Bestia. Failing that, we shall prove her existence or the lack thereof. Okay, changing subjects. What did you think about the campaign, Bestia? You are a capable commander. Mercy is your weakness. Your enemies exist as long as they survive. I th do think that in some situation you need an enemy to achieve a greater victory. Can't think of any situation like you mentioned. True, but this was an overall statement. Didn't just refer to the campaign. You never know, maybe in the future that could come in handy. Uh, take care of yourself, bestia. Alright. Cineros, my dear friend. Welcome home, Domine. You happy to be back? More than happy. Although it was nice to be back in my homeland once again, I find it quite impossible to not miss Rome. All I need now is a change of clothes and a day trip to the library. Well, I'll see to it that you get whatever you need, old friend. Much appreciated. It was good to be back in action, but now my old bones are in dire need of some rest. So what's the first thing you want to do? To see your mother. I'm sure she is anxious to know we've arrived. You know, that is a good idea indeed, but... Do it discreetly, though. And let me know if uh, she's doing well. I shall be cautious like a lizard. None shall be aware of my presence. All in all, I would say this campaign will went well. Few can claim to be your superior in matters of combat. You have proven yourself beyond the shadow of any doubt. I only wish my father was here to witness... Oh, his approval would mean the world to me. Think of the living first. The dead can wait. Thank you, Cineros, and I'll see you later. Legate? Okay, so, are you feeling well? I always get this weird feeling when I'm back. Like I've left something of mine behind out there. Did you forget to pack something? I have everything I need right here. Yet it feels like I could have accomplished more. Oh well, I guess wine will clear my head. So this is it then. What will you do now? You know what? For once, I'll do nothing. Nothing at all. And it will be glorious. Well, I don't need to get my home back, but after that, I might join you in your pursuit for nothing, my friend. A word of warning, Legate. My nothing 
Involves a lot of debauchery and degeneracy. Oh, uh, I, will I was thinking more along the lines of actual nothing. So, poetry? I mean, why not? It's a fine pastime. <laughs> then I shall leave you to enjoy your nothing in peace. Yeah. I guess we did all right back in the East, huh? All things considered, I don't think we can complain. The war is won, and we are still alive. I'll see you later, Kaiser. All right, so that's everyone. I guess what's left is only to talk with Vitus. Oh, way Lucullus and his victorious legion, welcome home. Salve, Vitus. It is good to be home again. I'm looking forward to a nice bath and a flask of good Carthaginian wine. Maybe two. May I humbly recommend Wipsanius Marcellus' new batch? People say it's heavenly. Ah, your recommendations never fail to impress. Do address the Legatus, though. This victory was of his doing more than mine. My apologies, Legate. I neither know nor recognize you. You know, I can't get over the fact that <laughs> Vitus' head seems a bit too big for the rest of the of his body, the proportion. I don't know. Maybe how it's drawn and the position of the body seems gives that impression. <laughs> anyway, back to our conversation. You know what? Apology accepted. I am Bigus, not yes, Dickus. See to it that you recognize me from now on, please. Thank you. I am sure you'll be remembered from now on. Now, let us conclude our business. The Consul seems to attribute the success of this campaign to you, Legate. Thus, it is your duty to formally disband the Legion and relinquish your weapons. Beyond this river lies the Pomerium, and not even a victorious Imperator can cross it bearing arms. But why, exa why exactly disband? This is our army, and if we disband the Legion, our enemies will be able to attack us. Attack us? Who could be stupid enough to attack Rome? Rome is well protected, Legate. Besides, our men are weary. They want to go home. Domine, if you refuse, your legion will be put to death. That is the punishment for such a transgression. Sure, let us do as requested. Let's not put more wood to the fire. You have given up your command, but you have retained your virtue. You can always get your command back when Rome needs you again. You... Thought, taught me much, Patrone. I owe you everything. Ah, you overstate my influence. It is easy to make a sharp sword out of good steel. The River Rubicon marks the sacred line where you stop being a warrior. It is time you learn how you may conquer a more civilized battleground. We shall meet at my villa in two nights. There are people I want you to meet prior to the Senate hearing. We must get your villa back somehow. Do not worry about your favorite Gladius. Your war gear will be kept safely in my summer villa outside the city. It better be, because I just saw that all my weapons have been taken. I wonder if armor is well. you are hungry, Domine. Lucullus is known for his lavish feasts. Do not eat anything until I've tasted it first. I wouldn't put it past the Vitellius brothers to poison this entire party just to get you and Lucullus. But what are we doing here exactly? Shouldn't we prepare ourselves for the Senate hearing? I am sure Dominus Lucullus has a reason and a plan. I would play along. My personal mission tonight is to taste each and every single dish. <laughs> you may have to roll me home. <laughs> All right. Who's in uh, attendance tonight? I see that Tullius Cicero and Porcius Cato are both here tonight. They are highly esteemed senators of the Optimatis faction. The famous advocate, Cicero? 
The very same. He is an orator of unmatched skill. He was trained in Greece, you know. I have to admit, I wish I had some kind of weapon on me. <sighs> to what end? A blade would not help against poison. I mean, that is true. But maybe somebody wants to be a bit more stealthily than poison. I mean, don't know what's more stealthily than poison. Sure. All right, I'm going in. Wish me luck. May Fortuna smile on you, Domini. I'll be here if you need me. Right on time. Just like a proper legatus. Welcome, son. After this long and arduous campaign, a feast is all you need. True, but I would have preferred to have my villa back and have a feast there. All in due time. All in due time. Now, divert your attention to our guests. This is more important than you think. So, shouldn't we prepare for the Senate then? We should, and we are. This is our preparation. The guests in this party were not randomly chosen. Our success largely depends on your conduct tonight. Oh, I see. So is this like a bribe party of some kind? Uh, well, where we're gonna try to sway most of the senators to our side, that kind of thing. So who are these people? Well, you know Marcus Manucius Thermus. He's still yep. thankful for your timely assistance and the saving of his life. You probably remember Marcus Aurelius Cotta as well. He seems to have brought his siblings, Lucius and Aurelia Cotta. The gentleman in the corner is Marcus Tullius Cicero. Making his acquaintance should prove to be very useful for you. I plan for him to become your advocate tomorrow. Last but not least, I've also invited Marcus Porcius Cato, who may or may not represent you as well. You see why it was important for you to be here. Yes. So, anything spe specific I, sh I should do? I think not. Just be your charming self and try to win them over. And please relax. You have defeated an army of rebel pirates. This is a simple dinner party. I guess you're right, as always. Of course I am. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Okay, I'll go and mingle. Be sure to join us at the table before you leave. I'd like to introduce you to Kato myself. And smile. And do not walk like you have just swallowed a measuring bowl. <laughs> I'll try. Right. So, our main objectives is Kato over there with Kikero. I guess we can talk with Kota first and then Thermos. Or let's see, Thermos first. Oh, we're walking slowly again. Uh, this is gonna be a bit annoying. Ah, it's good to see you again. Have some wine. Well, you look well, Thermos. Have you recovered yet? My leg still hurts every now and then, and all this rain isn't helping. That is nothing compared to what could have been. You have my eternal gratitude. It was the least I could do to save a commanding officer. There is still a lot I can learn from you. Much appreciated. But I am eager to return to my proprietorship in Asia. With any luck, Rome will never have need of me again. Any opinions of, on my impending Senate hearing? It is pretty much out of my hands. I'd follow your Patronus's lead. Lucullus is a smart man who usually has a few backup plans. Even without solid evidence, he will be able to put you into an advantageous position. Nevertheless, I would advise caution. Vitellius Skyevola, and especially his brother Lurko, are ruthless and cunning. Expect the unexpected. Do you know all these people, by the way? Only those who matter. Be careful around Cotter. He's still reeling somewhat from that damage that was done to his pride. His pride? I mean, we saved his life. To a man like Cotter, an honorable death would have been preferable to a humiliating near miss. <sighs> okay, I guess. Well, I'll leave you to your wine then. 
that young man there? I think that's him. Really? He looks barely old enough to wipe his own ass, let alone command a legion. If Lucullus says he won the war, then I have no choice but to believe it. Yeah. Is Pompeius Magnus not coming tonight? He's in Hispania, I believe. Shit. Oh, I thought this was my chance to win his patronage. Are you talking the about the Pompey? What can I s I see I can sit here at the chair, but there's no one I could converse. Unless Oh there's no random conversation happening. Okay. Kota. Of course. The savior of the legions, Lucullus Wonder Kid. I knew you would be here. Well, then your powers of divination truly have no equal. Don't give me that infuriating smirk. Slither off and gloat somewhere else, will you? Excuse my brother's ill mood, Legate. This new Carthaginian wine doesn't agree with him, if you know what I mean. I am Lucius Aurelius Cotter. This is our sister, Aurelia. We're glad to make your acquaintance. We were just talking about you anyway. Of course we were. I hope we, you were speaking of me in good terms, right? We were discussing how you saved my brother's life and became the hero of the Azia campaign. I mean... I can't really take full credit here. Lucullus was my guide and mentor. I was simply at the right place at the right time. But you can take full credit for letting my son die? Or was he simply at the wrong place at the wrong time? Oh. Forgive my foolishness. You are Gaius' mother, aren't you? I helped him with something. His death pains me, but there's nothing I could do. I apologize, Legate. They told me you had become close despite how briefly you knew each other. You know what? Apparently, we can show Caesar's broken sword. You know, and I brought this home after his son died. It's the blade of his sword. Oh, it's broken. This sword was my father's. It was called Crocaea Mors. You were friends with him, weren't you? However briefly. Why don't you keep it? I think I still have the old schematics for it. I'll have a servant bring them to your villa tomorrow. Interesting. Okay, so we might have another new weapon. Cool. But back to our conversation. You do seem confrontational, Marcus. Did I do something to draw your ire? Other than saving his life? Lucius! Oh, please, let him talk, Aurelia. Let everyone witness the failure of Marcus Aurelius Cotta. The man who got himself captured and let his nephew die. The consul who had to be saved by a homeless runt. Uh, you know what, to speak frankly, I think none of this is your fault. Saving your life was an honor. Rest assured, my brother is thankful for that, Legate. Hey, Nihu. How about the weather these days? A bit bleak, isn't it? Really? Are you so eager to display your shallowness? Yes, I was merely trying to steer the conversation in a more jovial direction. It's been rather rainy recently, true. At least the rain drives the mosquitoes away. Not all of them, it seems. Fine, I think I'd better leave. Ah, Jesus almighty. Right, let's see if we can talk with Kikero before... Kato. Salve! Yes, we I've can. I've heard a Perfect. lot about you. I am Marcus Tullius Kikero. I did hear a little about you as well. Is that so? Few people beyond the political circles would know of me. My reputation depends largely on who's talking. Well, isn't that true for everyone? To varying degrees, I am sure. 
So what exactly do you do, Kikero? I'm an advocate. I defend those whom others seek to incriminate. But I'm sure a career soldier such as you would find the topic rather boring. You know what? Since we already like chosen uh, photos, if we had logos, maybe this answer would make more sense. So I guess I'm gonna go for the second option. Like, war is not a career to me. On the contrary, it is a role I've been cast against my wishes. Then perhaps we have that in common. I myself abhor violence, although I recognize its necessity in some situations. So are these all friends of Lucullus? That depends what you mean by friend. Your Patronus, Lucullus, is a consul. Many people would claim to be his friend. There's a difference between knowing someone and merely knowing someone's name, though. Are we friends? Yep, I would like to be. Our Republic is in great turmoil. We should all aim to gather around us as many friends as possible. Well, I'll talk to you later, Kikero. And then let's see... Cut that off. is absolutely unnecessary. I'd spend it all on farmlands. People need their food. Indeed they do. But what good is food if it's obtained by illegitimate means? What do you think about it, Legate? The... Uh, I do seem to have walked into an ambush. Clearly my scouts have failed me. <laughs> Fortunately, I know you are good at handling ambushes. Spoils of war. Unaccounted for and untaxed. Should they be used for development to feed the people of Rome? A simple question. Hmm. I mean, I do think it depends on the situation. If the people are starving, sure. But we should also punish the person who committed the crime. A fairly strong answer, I'd say. No matter how much you try to legislate, the situation at hand will defy your expectations. Meet Senators Marcus Porcius Cato and Marcus Tullius Cicero, who will be acting as your attorney tomorrow. At least I hope so. Unfortunately, things have developed differently, my friend. I've decided to represent Tiberius Suitelius Skyewala instead. So who will be my lawyer then? Certainly not me. My skill is in building a solid defense, not in prosecuting. And may I say, your case is quite weak. I do not envy whoever has to make it. Certainly an interesting turn of events. But I've heard you talking disfavorably about the Witellius brothers before. How do you justify defending them? What I justify hardly matters. I seek to represent them to the best of my ability, so justice can be served. Is it a bit immoral to defend someone when you know he's guilty? Most certainly. It would make you as guilty as they are. Rubbish. As long as your defense itself is conducted by legal means, we must trust the system to produce the right outcome. Ligate, what guidelines did you follow when you had to decide the fate of that Triarchus? Why did you let him live? I mean, there was, at that time, there was no evidence to prove his guilt. I will not take a man's life on a mere suspicion. Our feelings often point towards the moral path. I wonder, exactly how utilitarian are you in your thinking? I heard you had the opportunity to bribe a hired guard protecting a spy. Stop interrogating the man, Carto. Not everyone must adhere to your high standards. You know what? It's all right, Kikero. I did have that option. Yet you did not take it. To be honest, yeah, loyalty bought with the Nadi is worthless. And as an addendum, because if only money is enough to get a man's loyalty, then somebody else can swoop in with more money and then just switch loyalty 
A point well taken. Depends on the denarii, I suppose. Exactly. Well, gentlemen, this discussion has become too hypothetical for my tastes. I bid you a good day. Wale, Kikoro. See you tomorrow. One final question before I retire as well. You and your questions, Kato. I believe if you wanted, you could enter the Pomerium fully armed. Why didn't you? I mean, that rule is uh, as old as Rome itself. Disobeying it would be to disrespect our society. Indeed. In betraying Rome, you would betray yourself. This has been an interesting conversation, gentlemen. I thank you for it. But now, with your permission, I shall leave. Well, Ate. Wale, Kato. Interesting. We don't have enough evidence to condemn Witellius Scaiola yet. But I shall try tomorrow at the Senate. Hopefully, I can secure Kato's help. You should go to your villa. Be careful, son. Skyola's thugs are still guarding it. Yeah, no worries. So, yeah, may maybe I should have taken that option way back to go after the ship to get evidence against Kaevola. Oh well. Uh, I might need weapons. If you are going get against his dogs. I heard some people carry weapons recreationally. Just be careful. No worries. I'll try. And I guess that's everything. I don't see any other thing I can interact with. Only the chairs. So no hidden loot or that. So yes, Cineros. You look tired. Shall we leave? Indeed. Let us leave. So, did you enjoy yourself? I mean, I have mixed feelings, to be honest. That is what life is. Okay, and apparently we have unspent skills. Kaiso leveled up. Oh, hello. This is a nice looking uh, map from. Or is this all of Rome or just part of it? This might be just a part of it. So I'm trying to see if there's a Coliseum around here somewhere. Or it might not have been built at that time. Doubt it. Can't remember my exact my history right now. Anyway, let's go to our villa. They say home is where the heart is. It's me, Cineros, and who's this lady? Is this Kalida by any chance? Or Danira? It doesn't say. Everyone is highlighted. I'm just gonna get, take a quick look around. Don't see anything we can uh, interact. I mean, as objects. That is, there is something in the house, and a bit further on. But I guess we're gonna see next time what's gonna happen here. For now, I'm gonna leave it here, and yeah, so far, interesting. I do have a feeling that this is gonna be like a third part over here in Rome. And that should be the hearing, the Senate hearing. I guess 
we shall see for now hopefully you enjoyed this episode not a lot of actions just walking around trying to converse with people having a party and all that so i guess i'll see you next time but as always don't forget to take care